What's going on guys and welcome to something a little bit different today. The only way I can describe this is place your bets meets Sunday League football. It is none other than the Wookafugum. The Wookafugum, I hear you ask? Well, it's quite simple. It stands for World Championships of Football Accumulators and Grand National. This is the fourth year running that we've done the Wookafugum and for those that watch the Sunday League series, it all started here two years ago. The idea of Palmer's FC was born right here. Now the question you've probably got is how does it all work? So let me go over the rules right now. First of all, all players must stake £10 on the 3pm kickoffs. How you stake that £10 though is totally up to you. You can do £10 on one team or you can split it up into 10 £1 accumulators. Two £5, six and a four, it's whatever you want. As long as you spend £10, no more, no less, you're in. A further £10 is then put in the kitty from every player which is the prize money for the overall winner. The winner obviously is the person that makes the most money. So they win the most money and then get the kitty on top. Double whammy. But what's that I hear you ask? What if nobody wins anything on any of their accumulators? That's a great question my friend. In the event of no one actually winning anything, we have no winner so it has to be decided by the Grand National. Each player on the team has a shirt number. That shirt number is then matched up with the horse numbers and whichever horse comes highest takes the money. Up to speed, good, fantastic, let's go. So every year things kick off at 10 a.m. in the CAF for a full English breakfast. And then a quick walk round the corner to the bookies, which is where we pick our accumulators for the day. And maybe a couple of quid on the roulette machine as well. Once we've done that, we'll usually scoot round the corner to the Paddy Power bookies. They pay five places for the Grand National. And this is where we tend to put on a couple of personal Grand National bets for friends and family and all that jazz. Here we've got Luke taking it all in, it's his first book of a gun, whilst two-time and reigning champion Nick thinks he's onto another winner. Meanwhile, two of the other founding members, Tomo and Wayne, eye up another roulette machine. We all then chip in a tenner and do the official Palmer's FC roulette system, which is known as Snake, as you can see by the board there. Here we go with a spin and it ends up on number two in the bag. Winner, winner. Next up is a quick tradition of mine and Tomo's. Every year we do what's called the Grand National Blind Bet. It's quite simple, grab the paper, close your eyes and wherever the pen lands, that's what we go with. So first up is Tomo and he manages to get... With them. Broadway Buffalo. Broadway Buffalo. And up next is my turn to pick. Right. This is blind betting. Completely blind. blind. Many clouds. As you can hear from my excited childlike reaction, we picked out many clouds. And the reason I was excited is because many clouds is number two in the Grand National. Number two is my shirt number, of course. Well, not really, of course, because you never see me playing, do you? Next stop for the day is the supermarket where we get our meat for the barbecue. We always try throwing a random bit of food into the basket. And this year is a piece of broccoli, but Wayne wasn't having any of it. So with all the shopping done, it was time to move on to our next location. Hello, you are. I'm uh, Matt Rhodes. I'm the local Grey's uh, Santa Dea manager. And um, Palms FC are my second favorite team, apart from Sparks FC. Oh. Your sparks. I haven't a clue what he's on about. But anyway, we're back on the road and we are off to the pub now. This is where we have a little look back at our accumulators and see what we've got on. And as you can see, there's quite a lot to keep up with. We have a couple of games of killer on the pool table and then Mr. Jason Toogood shows his face. Then ahead of the 3 p.m. kickoffs, we're off to Tomo's house, which is where we always watch the football results and the Grand National come in. But before we do that, Luke decides he wants to go to Asda for some JD and Coke. Nick also buys a little bit more meat and expertly puts some baby corn into the basket without even Luke seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Back on the road again and we finally hit our destination, it's Tomo's house. And this is where none other than Jeff Stelling leads the way. However, at quarter past four, he is rudely interrupted by none other than the Grand National. And this is where we watch our horses come in, or not. And of course, the potential winner of Wooker for Gun is decided. And they're off. Who's it going to be? Let's find out. I'll spare you ten minutes and we'll skip to the end. I fucking done it! Blind bet! Blind bet! And would you look at that for the third year running, the blind bet between me and Tomo has actually come in. Many clouds is the winner, and of course, number two is my shirt number, which means I am the potential winner of Wookafagun at this moment in time. But anyway, it's back to the football. We're nearing the end, so let's see if anyone can get any winners. Meanwhile, Wayne's out the back and he's become the man of the house while he cooks the meat. Back inside, it's tense times as we check the results to see if there's any winners, and Nick's got a feeling he's going to take the £60 and the Wooker for Gun title for the third year running. But isn't it funny what a last-minute Norwich goal can do for you? Oh, he's done it! He fucking it's not done over yet. it! It's not over yet. Oh, it's not bad. And that was the moment that the Wooker for Gun fell into Tomo's hands, but there was one result to come. Why? Two good leads, MK Bob's two and a half grand. Too good decided against lots of little accumulators and just stuck £10 on one big tenfold, which brought home two and a half grand. And all he needed was MK Dons. <laughs> <laughs> this is kidding me. 
And there you have it. Port Vale nil, MK Dons nil. Too good chance to blow the competition out. The water is gone. Unlucky, son. Which brings us nicely onto this year's results. So in joint fifth, it was Too Good and Wayne on zero. In fourth, with a 98p profit, is Luke finishing on £10.98. Next up was myself with a respectable £22.27. In second, with £28.48 was Nick, which means after four years, he finally gets his crown. It's none other than Tomo with a total of £30.06p, pipping Nick by £1.58p. Fine lines. Fine lines indeed. The rest of the day was spent eating the food that Wayne cooked, collecting our winnings, and then spending the rest of the night down the pub. A very good day indeed. That brings us to the end of Wooker for Gun. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and be sure to check out all the other football content on this channel. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.